Hello students, welcome to the maths class. Today we are going to learn a new topic, pi graph. Objectives of the chapter are number one, reading a pi graph. Number two, drawing a pi graph. Students, today we will continue with the topic, drawing a pi graph. Let's understand the topic with the help of Examples. Example number one. Draw a pie graph or circle graph to represent the following table. Students, in first row we have given name of vehicles. Cycle, car, bus and scooter. In the second row we have given number of people. 10, 60, 20 and 90. Now students, to draw a pie graph, first we will find central angle of a circle. Now what is the formula of central angle? Central angle is equals to given value upon total value multiply 360 degree. Students, sum of angles in a circle is 360 degree. So, we will multiply to each value by 360 degree. Now, we will make three columns. First two columns given in the quotient and in the third column we will find central angle with the help of a formula. Now students, given values are 10, 60, 20 and 90. Now total value means we have to add these values. So total value is 180. Now students, in the third column for the first value is given value 10 upon total value 180 multiply by 360 degree. Now in the multiplication we have to do cutting. Now first cut 0 with 0 and cutting on 18 table. 18 table 18 comes at 1 and 36 comes at 2. Now multiply 10 by 2. Now 20 degree. So first central angle is 20 degree. Now next given value is 60 upon total value is 180 multiply by 360 degree. Again we will do cutting on same table. First cut 0 with 0 and cutting is possible on a teen table. After cutting, we will multiply 60 by 2. That is 120 degree. In the same way, third given value is 20. And total value is 180. 20 upon 180 multiply 360 degree. Again, we will do cutting on 18 table. And then multiply 20 by 2. That is 40 degree. In the next value is 90. So given value is 90. Total value is 180. So 90 upon 180 multiply 360 degree. Again cutting is same. And then we will multiply 90 by 2. 90 multiplied 2 is 180 degree. Students, remember this thing. Sum of central angles should be equals to 360 degree. Students, remember these points. First of all, we will open compass of 5 centimeter. 
we have to open compass of 5 centimeter and with the help of protector we will draw the angles students we have given angles two times on the protector but we will take only downwards angle to draw the angles in a pi graph students first we will draw a circle of 5 cm i have already drawn students this point is called center of the circle this line is called base line of the circle students now we will draw angles with the help of a protector students in the protector this point is called center of the protector and this line is called base line of the protector now students first angle is 20 degree students place center of protector at o point and match base line with the protector's base line first angle is 20 degree so mark 20 degree with the dot in the circle now students join this dot with the o point join this dot with the o point this is the angle of 20 degree now students so ob is the new line of the pi graph students next angle is 120 degree now we will draw angle of 120 degree now baseline is ob so again place d at o point and match baseline with the protector's baseline 120 degree angle here so put dot over there join this dot with the o point now this is the new baseline of the circle this is the new baseline of the pi graph so oc is the new baseline of the pi graph students next angle is 40 degree now oc is the baseline and center point is o place our protector at o point and match baseline with the protector's baseline. What is here? So mark this angle with the dot. Now join this dot with O with the help of a scale. Now Baseline is OD and center point is O. Students, next angle is 180 degree. Students, remember this thing. The last angle of the pi graph automatically should be equal to the last angle. Here, last angle is 180 degree. So, this angle should be equals to 180 degree. Students, we can check last angle is equals to 180 degree or not. Students, last angle is 180 degree. Students, remember this thing. We have to give naming to the pi graph and we have to write given information in the pi graph also. In this way, we will draw a pi graph for the given information so students today we have learned how to draw a pi graph for the given information
I hope you all will able to do related sums given in your app homework. Thank you.